Hi YouTube, it's your girl here, Tammy C. Walker, the owner of Dreams Are A Reality. I created this channel to provide light and love. How are you? I am doing okay. I'm doing okay. Hanging in there. You know how the holidays are. Sometimes it can be stressful. And unfortunately, sometimes we have losses. Um, I lost an auntie from Nashville, my dad's oldest sister. So I was thinking I was going to have to uh, try to get there for a funeral, her funeral, but I think it's a cremation. I don't know what's going on. It's uh, kind of chaotic. I'm not going to say nothing negative, but that you know, family, somebody passed away. Read between the lines. So that's been going on. And my younger sister, um, she took ill and is in the hospital, had to have emergency surgery. So those two things really have um, kind of thrown me off. Um, this all happened Friday and a Sunday. And so, yeah, just trying to balance that out with the rest of my hectic life is something. I just want to speak real quick. I was listening to this guy. Uh, He was talking about basically don't chase a man on his video. And he was okay. The stuff he was saying, it's like stuff I know. Uh, me personally, when it comes to relationship stuff, I'm not saying I'm a know-it-all, but I, I have lived a lot. Um, you know, I began dating at 16, was married at 22, divorced by 29, so with the first guy dating five years, married six, 11 years total, and the last relationship was a very long-term one. I, honestly, I have to sit down and count the years. <laughs> it was quite a few years. Um, I've had short-term, long-term, married, engaged, divorced, all of that stuff. Look, he was saying if you want to get somebody's attention, you ignore them. Well, yeah, that's true, actually. It's true. And so somebody in the comments said, mature women don't play games and all of this. Look, you are in the game of life. I keep telling people this. You are in the game of life. Whether you want to be in the game of life or not, you are a part of the game. It's a game at corporate America when you work at corporate America. You do all the doggone work. A lot of times with corporate America, you do not get the credit. You want a promotion, they deny you. So this is some people's story. It was absolutely mine. And for me, I had to figure out corporate America is not for me. It was amazing. I'll go some places and work. They would think I was the best thing since sliced bread. I would work at another company. It was so political and silly that they didn't even, you know, know I existed. I know it sounds like a crazy an analogy, but stick with me. Same with a man or same with a, a lady. If you really want to be with them and they don't treat you right, you do ignore them. That is not playing a game. That is putting yourself first. So uh, playing games is all this blocking stuff that people do. I don't believe in blocking nobody. But I will block somebody if they are toxic or if they are stalking me. Nobody want to put up with that. But we got to stop thinking everything is a game. Something is teaching people how to treat you. I don't do that with no man only. I do that with everybody. If I'm calling you and calling you and calling you and you act like you're too busy to talk or you ignore me, I stop calling. And I do that with my sister. She's done that before. I'm so busy. I'm so busy. Well, guess what I do? I stop calling. Now, I'm not saying I'm not going to never call my sister again. Me and her, that's my best friend. Me and my sisters are my best friends. So I would never stop calling them. But I pull back. That's what I'm saying. It's not playing games. It's teaching people how to treat you. Why keep calling somebody that don't respond or keep calling somebody that's saying they're so busy? You stop. How is that playing a game? I do not understand. That's not playing a game. That's teaching people how to treat you. There are people out here with toxic relationships with their mother. And they feel like, but that's mom. I can't say anything. I don't agree with that. When my late mom was alive, we butt heads sometimes. It wasn't a lot, but we had some rocky moments a couple of times there. And, you know, if I could be transparent, sometimes my mom was bad with money. 
it wasn't that she didn't have money because she worked at the post office. She made a good salary. She retired early due to illness, and she had a decent pension. She also had my dad's pension because he had retired from the railroad before he passed. So she had a pension and a half. But she liked to ask for money, and I got tired of giving it to her. So sometimes we didn't see eye to eye. So what I'm trying to say is it's not always about game playing. It's about boundaries. It's about respect. It's about putting yourself first. We have to stop not valuing ourselves and putting ourselves first. And I already know some people say, I just don't want no problems. I just don't want no confrontation. Okay, when you take that approach, you're going to be a doormat. I don't care how nice and sweet you think you are or how much you don't want confrontation. You have to confront You're going to have to confront somebody at your workplace. I am a therapist. I have to confront clients. I have had somebody yelling on video, yelling, try to yell back at me. Uh Uh-uh. We we don't do that with Tammy Sharice Walker. She don't play yelling. And as a therapist, I have to command respect because... I am leading the session. The client leads the session once they start, you know. Okay, let me just say something. Let me back back up and then I'm going to tell you what I'm trying to say. As a client, I know they think the therapist does all the work. Clients do the work because you, whoever the client is, he or she is the one with the problem, the challenge, the mental health issue or, or yeah, mental health. So they come to the session And they have already told us on the client intake form what's going on. We talk to you. We're going to, you know, re-ask what's going on and get the framework going. But at the end of the day, our clients lead the session because I give out homework. But if my client gets on video or comes into my office with a crisis, we're not doing that homework. We're doing whatever they need to talk about. So the client leads. But that doesn't mean the client gets to come in my office jumping up and down, screaming and hollering, that's a that's a hard no. And I have to command order. You know, like, no, we're not going to do that. We're going to talk in a normal, t- you know, tone, lower your voice, please. I have to command respect. If I don't do that, they would never respect me as a clinician. I'll be treated like they treat their wife or girlfriend, husband, or a boyfriend. I've had women try some stuff. Not a lot. It hasn't happened a lot, you all. I've been doing this for six, seven years. I haven't had a lot of bad things happen. But bad things are going to happen because we're dealing with flawed people. We all people with issues. All of us, including me, of course. That's why I can do this this podcast because I'm I got issues. Okay, so getting back to what I'm saying about the confrontation, you have to confront. It doesn't matter how sweet you are, how nice you are, how peaceful you are. You're an introvert. Confrontation is a part of your life. If you are a mom, if you are a dad, if you are an auntie, you are an uncle. If you have friends, if you have relatives, if you have a love life, if you're at work, if you're a customer, you got to confront people. Okay? So... We can get that out of our vocabulary. It doesn't matter. Now, you could be like me, too. I still have to confront people, no matter how much I hate it. I do. I'm not. A, I'm not. I don't like drama. I, I run from it. I hide from it. I do. But I still have to confront. I, I, I really do. <laughs> and as much as I hate to, sometimes I have to. I, 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 it's just all a part of life. What can we do? What can we say? Don't think you're playing a game. When you ignore somebody. It's all about respect. Don't you want to be respected? Don't you want even your mom and your dad? Don't you want them to respect you as an adult? Don't you want your kids to respect you as a parent? Don't you want your manager to know, like, that employee right there, she's going to speak up. Now, me personally in corporate, I ain't say much because I ain't give a care, you all. I hated it. I hated working in corporate America. I hated it. And I'm going to tell you all why. 
I was a good worker. I'm always a good worker, mostly. But it was a couple of times I didn't care and stuff. I, if I don't care about something, a relationship or a job, I'm going to do the bare minimum. And that's not my personality. But it's been a couple of times in life, you know, especially with a relationship. If I'm done, girl, you probably don't know anyway. I'm going to tell you. But I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll just be repulsed or whatever. I, I'm not a fake person. Like, I can't fake it. Either I like you or I don't. That's just me. And I don't have a lot of people I don't like. But if I don't like you, you probably going to know. <laughs> because I don't wear a poker face. I'm just straight up. I'm a straight up type of girl. That's me. So, um, yeah, when I was in corporate, I just, I just didn't care. You know, I guess I, I started at 18 and I learned just some bull. And once I figured out it was some bull, I just did it to pay my bills. But I never saw myself, you know, some people are like, I want to be the VP of procurement. I want to be the director in marketing. Nah, I never wanted to be any of that. I just didn't like it. I was like, I got to get out of here. It was always like, I got to get out of here. How did I end up here? That's that's how I live my life, which is why I went back to school, got my degree. And now I like being a social worker. I like being a counselor. I like being a therapist. For one, it gives me freedom, you know. Yeah, I work I work a job, but it's not a nine to five. I do not work a nine to five. I only work seven hours. And I work at a school and nobody comes there and like, Are you here today, Tammy? Tammy, Tammy, Tammy. It's free. It's free. Yeah, I know I gotta be there. I have a group today, so I know I gotta be there. But I don't feel that corporate stuff. Same when I come home. Yeah, I gotta be on the computer tonight for a couple of clients, but it's in my house and I'm okay with that and I like what I do. What in the hell? I'm, what in the hell is Tammy talking about on this podcast? I'm just saying, like, from listening to that guy a little bit, you do have to ignore people. And he says something else. He was like, and they've been putting their hands on you, and they've been cursing you out. You got to ignore them because that's the only way they're going to act right. No, 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 no. Error, 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 error. Like I always say on my channel, we do not want the abuser. We do not, not want the other guy that's going to curse you out or the lady. We do not want baseball bats swung at us and stuff thrown at us and holes in our walls. On the channel of Dreams Are Reality, we want healthy women and men. We want to be treated with respect. Yes, you do ignore somebody that hits you and curses you out forever. Don't, if you have kids with them, oh, so help you God. I'm sorry that you even have to be bothered with that. You don't want nobody that's abusive. And I don't even like to really touch on abuse that much because to me it's scary. You know, I've been through it. You could lose your life to it. You could end up killing them. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is just a dark place. So, we don't want those type of people. So, when I talk about ignoring, I'm not, yeah, you're going to ignore an abuser forever. That's what you're going to do. Please do. Please. And if you have to, if you have to interact with them, do it at a neutral spot. You know, get the mediator in the middle. Because nobody don't, I don't, let me speak for Tammy. I don't like to be hit. I don't like to be cursed at. I don't like to be hollered at. Because I don't do that to somebody else. So please don't come doing that to me. And this is why, at times, your girl is over here like this. Alone. Not lonely. That's getting, that's another thing. People saying lonely. No, 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 no. I'm not lonely. I'm alone by choice. This is a choice. But I don't do that stupid stuff. I don't do that. Okay, so summing it all up and getting on out of here. We do ignore. You are not playing games. You are commanding respect. And I know people here on YouTube, they love to get jumped in the comments. You can't make nobody treat you any kind of way. You can't make, you can't make nobody do nothing. You're not going to make a little baby if he is seven months. A baby girl of 10 months. Come on, baby girl. It's time to walk. She not doing nothing until she want to walk. You can't make your 18-year-old kid, your 15-year-old kid. You better get an A in, in algebra and they bring home a C because that's what they want to do. That's the best they can do, maybe. I don't know. You're not going to make nobody. That's not, not, that's not what we're trying to do here. I don't believe in making somebody do something. But I can command respect. I can ignore you if you're being vulgar. 
you know, my ex, ex, every time I say ex, it's not the, the one that I really love. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's sometimes it's other. Well, it's only going to be one other because I really don't even deal with none of them. But he tried to be a little fresh and vulgar uh, a few months ago. No, no, child. I don't do that. I don't do the vulgar stuff with men, honey. No, <laughs> I don't do that. Like, you're not going to... You're not gonna play with me. I don't. I don't do that. I'm a mature woman. So you teach people how to treat you by not. You disengage. You disengage. When I had my surgery, I came back to my classroom a month later, almost. As soon as I sat at my desk in my class, a coworker came up to me and was gossiping. I I had just entered the building. I thought it was a joke. And she's like, yeah, because they don't come in my room that much. But that day she did. She was dropping something off. And I'm like, ma'am, I just got back from a surgery. I wasn't even feeling that good, you all. And she started talking about another lady that, that works there at the school. And I looked at her and I said, I'm, I'm sorry. I said, I'm sorry to hear that. That's how I put it. But I'm not engaging in foolery. This is what I'm trying to say. We do not engage in negativity. We do not engage in bad behavior. I created this channel because I still do <laughs> some of these things. You know, I'm still a work in progress. But I have done some of these things in the past where it truly worked. But when when we are human, like I just read somebody else say, we are human and we are flawed. I agree with that person. We do things. When your heart is involved, you're going to do something that you may not normally do. So I don't want to get on here and, and beat you up because I'll be beating myself up. It's okay if we make mistakes. It's okay sometimes our heart gets in the way. But when you come back to your senses, which you always do, because I know I do, put your stuff in place and expect to be treated with respect. And the only way you're going to get those, that respect is to stand up for yourself, is to confront, is to ignore People that want to treat you incorrectly. You have to disengage. Because if you don't, they'll never know. Now, with a man or a lady, they may never tell you. It may be two years later. They may never say, now that Tammy sure don't play. You know, she's something else. But in their mind, they're going to be like, that Tammy sure don't play. She's something else. They may never tell you, but you will know for yourself. Like, I stood up for myself. It feels good to stand up for yourself. I know it's scary if you've been a doormat. I mean, that's a harsh word. But you know what I'm saying. You don't let people walk all over you. Don't do that. Don't be talking about, I'm nice. I don't want no confrontation. I don't want no problem. Me either. I don't, I don't bother nobody. That's my thing. That's my claim to fame. I don't bother nobody. I just stay up in, stay in my apartment. I do my work. I go to my school. I do my work. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not at all. I'm not. But overall, some most people, I pray, you know, at the end of life. She was a kind lady. She was sweet. She helped me when I was down. You know, this is what I want my legacy to be. People say, what do you want your legacy to be? I want it to be good. Like I was bringing good on this earth. Nah, she cursed me out. She slammed the door in my face. I called her phone. She hung up on, you know, <laughs> You want to leave a good legacy, okay? So, all of us are still working. We don't like abusers. We don't like to be hit or cursed out. So, that doesn't... No, we don't talk about the people on my channel. I'm, not, I'm talking about healthy people. Healthy, healthy. I'm not talking about only romantic abusers. If you're in it, this happens. I'm sorry to say, you all. Your grown mama is slapping you upside the head. No, 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 mama. Mama, keep your hands to yourself now, mama. I've been hearing a lot of stuff about mamas lately. Oh, and it's not good. It's not good. Because I guess I'm naive. You know, I think about my mom. Like I told you, we did. <laughs> we clashed a couple of times. But overall, my mom was very sweet and soft-spoken and easygoing. And I, mean, I hear that moms are that way. It hurts. You know, because you think good stuff about mom. But all moms aren't good, you all. All dads aren't good. All moms aren't present. Our dads aren't present. Moms and dads were abused, some of them. And, you know, that's that's just how it goes. It's sad. Okay, made no sense today. Just woke up a little while ago. Got to get ready for work. Can't wait for Christmas break. Just had Thanksgiving break, and I'm already just... 
Just exhausted, you all. Really been a lot. How you all doing? I hope you all are not as tired as I am. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. Hope I made some type of sense. Have a good one. Thank you all for listening. Y'all some sweeties. And thank you, new subscriber. Bye.